Hey, welcome back again. Right now I'm going to teach you guys how to create a bilingual profile um, on Touch Chat with Word Power. So this is for obviously for your kiddos who speak two languages. Um, for me, it's usually Spanish and English, but they also have French. Um, it says Chinese. I don't know what languages or dialects. I don't know if it's Cantonese or anything else. Um, I'm not really, I'm not educated on those languages, but um, there are other options basically than Spanish and English. But <clears throat> I'm going to do Spanish and English because that's what I speak and also it's um, most of the bilingual kids that I work with uh, are speak and understand Spanish and English. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Spanish file. So we're going to set up that first and then we're going to link them. So if you go down, all the way down, you're going to see um, uh, word power, a bunch of word power. So what we want to do is we want to try to make the English version and the Spanish version almost identical. It's not going to be 100% identical um, because it's just two different languages. The wording, the words are not always the same. Um, so there's different motor patterns too. So, um, <clears throat> but we're going to try to make it as, you know, as, uh, similar as possible. So for this one, I want to choose the word power 60, uh, Espanol Basico. So the basic Spanish basic, um, is better because it has more, uh, pictures. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it and then we're going to name it, uh, Spanish, 60. You can do SS if you want. I'm just going to do Spanish 60. So then you're going to save. Okay. It's going to bring us into this. Um, let's work on this and then we will go out and work on the English one. So we want to first make sure that we have the right voice and then we're going to save the profile. So we're going to go to menu and then settings. We're going to come down and make sure we choose um, a Spanish speaking. I'm going to do Spanish speaking boy. I'll probably choose Emilio. Now, just uh, FYI, there's an Emilio child English America male. And then uh, the Spanish one. We want to go all the way down and make sure it's the Spanish one so that he speaks in Spanish. So, correctly. <laughs> so, we're going to come back up. Emilio child Spanish. So, that is the one that I have right now. So... <clears throat> Okay, so that's Emilio. Um, good. We're going to save our profile here. And these are some other ones that I've done. So we're going to name it, um, again, Spanish 60. There we go. And hit save. Uh, already exists. Do you want to override it? Yeah, why not? That's fine. Okay, so we're good. We're going to hit done. Let's just make sure that we hear Emilio's voice. Comer. Good. That is him. Me. Por favor. Okay, so we've got Emilio there. If you select an English-speaking child, it's just going to mess up the tra the um, <laughs> the way they say it. Like, jugar is just to... Um, jugar. Jugar to play in Spanish. And when you choose an, uh, an English speaking child, it says jugar. <laughs> so you just want to make sure you have the right, <clears throat> um, right voice. Okay. So now I'm going to come out. I think this is the next thing I want to do. So basically, again, what we're doing is we're creating a bilingual profile so that we can toggle back and forth between English and Spanish for the person who uses it. If they speak both languages, they speak English and they just decide depending on who they're talking to or whatever, that they want to go into Spanish speaking so they can switch back and forth. But before we do that, we're going to come out and we're going to choose a new vocab and we're going to save an English profile. So you can see with a the check mark, there's our Spanish 60, the one we just created. Okay. So we're going to come down and we're going to go to English and we're going to go all the way down to word power, not word power light, but word power. And so for the Spanish one, we chose 60. So in the English, it, it doesn't say basic yet. Um, remember I said you want to do 
60 basic, but once you click on it, it will give you a choice between just the 60 SS and the 60 basic SS. Again, you want to choose the 60 basic SS because it gives you more pictures. So you're going to customize it and we are going to label it English 60. English 60 and we're going to save. Now it's going to bring us in here. I'm not sure what. Finish. Oh. Hit. So it has. Open. Uh, Come. Let's see whose voice that is. It's not an American English speaking voice, which we don't want because if we're going to have a bilingual speaker, we want. I'm just going to choose Emilio again, but the English speaking Emilio so that he has the uh, Spanish accent, but speaking English. Sorry. So I hit menu. Um, hold on a minute. I went too fast. So I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to go to settings. I just want to see who this is. So it is Emilio the child. Um, and it's Emilio the English speaking child, because if we, if we select the Spanish, he's going to try to talk in Spanish. So Emilio English. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to play with the rate slightly. Um, all right. So let's save this profile and it's going to tell me I already have it and we're going to override it, which is fine. English, because I was practicing, 60. And we're going to save. You already have it. Do you want to override it? Yep, I do. Okay. All right. So now. Um, me. Me. What we have to do is create a button that will allow the student to select it and then it will switch to the Spanish or if we're in the Spanish profile, it will select to the slip. It will go back to the English. So we're going to choose the period button because we don't use it a lot and um, don't need it much. At least I don't. All right. So we're going to hit menu and then we're going to edit page. Then we're going to go to edit button and we're going to edit this button and let's relabel this. We're going to label it Spanish because we're in the English version. So we're going to write in English, so Spanish. And then we're going to come down. We can select an image. This is the part that is kind of whatever because, um, it has different flags and, you know, you might have a, uh, a Mexican native, you might have someone from Puerto Rico, you might have someone from Spain. So you just have to be careful. You don't want to select like the Mexican flag for someone who's from Spain or whatever. So, um, if you have someone and you, if you're able to correct, select the correct flag, that's fine. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna, cause I don't know, I'm just gonna do, um, these kids learning Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. All right. So that's going to be our symbol. And then I'm going to come down. You see all these um, button, button actions. I really don't want all of those. So I'm going to take them away. Clear modifiers. Uh, no. Backspace key. I don't need. And then um, you can speak the message if you want, but I don't want to. Like when I have the child select, go to the you know, the Spanish profile, I don't need it to say Spanish before he does it, he or she does it. It's just, I just want it to go there. Then we can start selecting things. So I deleted all of those actions and I'm going to add another action. And <clears throat> this action is select profile. So we have to go down to S and see where it says select profile. So we're going to select, so we're in the English profile, right? So we want to select the Spanish 60. Okay. So now you can see it's on there. So when we hit the button, which is now going to look like this in a second, when we save it and say Spanish, it should go to the Spanish profile. All right. I took it out of edit mode and let's see what it does. Blah, yes, voila. So there it is on the Spanish speaking um, profile. So, but we want to do the same thing here because 
yay, we got to Spanish, but how do we get back to the English profile? Well, we have to create another button on this profile to bring us back to the English. So we're going to hit menu and then we're going to hit edit page. Then we're going to go to the period button again from this profile and hit edit button. I'm going to put in a, it's in Spanish. So instead of writing English, I'm going to write Ingles. Ingles. Um, whoops. And I'm going to take away that period and then I'll just, again, oh yeah, hold on. I have to put English because I guess we could have the writing, but there's no picture. So let's get a picture up there. So again, here we go. There's different flags. There's British English. There's American English. Uh, we're just going to assume that we are in America just for the purpose of making this button. Um, so let's do the speak English with the American flag, that's fine. Then before we save it, we wanna do the same thing we did with the other button. I'm gonna take away all of these actions, even the speak message, and then I'm gonna add an action and it's gonna be select profile. Um, there and we're going to choose this is Spanish version right so we want it to go to the English 60 so we're going to select that and save it and then come out and then let's see what happens yes we pushed it and went back to the, Span the English um, <clears throat> one other thing that I learned is just give me one second um on the Spanish profile, I guess when there are uh, words that are capitalized, they say them like it pr pronounces like a English. So there's a way to um, fix that. So if you go to settings, I mean, sorry, menu and then settings. There's a way to like take away the capitalization. And where is that? Um, auto capitalization. I think you should take that off. Pretty sure that's it, yeah. Okay, so now all the words should be um, spoken correctly in Spanish because we have the right ver the right voice, Emilio, and that auto capitalization is off. Okay. Um, is there anything else? That should be it. Um, now, if you go out. Sorry, you can just see, um, you can just go to the Spanish 60 that we created and then um, you can name it something else. Like if you're, if your child, you can put your child's name or, or whatever, and then you should be able to select it. And then you can um, talk in Spanish um, and then you can, Bien. Um, go back to English. Good. And it will be in English. So they can go back and forth depending on, you know, if they're talking at home with their parents in Spanish or at school in English. Or sometimes people just do like code switching. So you just somewhere like even for me, sometimes I'll be speaking Spanish and I drop an English word. It's pretty common. So, I mean, they can go back and forth that way. Um, and that's it. So, guys, is if there's any other... Thing you want me to go over with this please uh, let me know send me a message um, comment please like uh, if there's anything that I forgot to do just let me know also all right thank you so much I hope this is helpful take care guys bye bye